You will never suspect that this tiny device is one of the more powerful RFID hacking tool that you can find. This is the ESP key, an interception tool that has a built-in Wi-Fi module inside it. This can store up to 80,000 unique credentials and all of those credentials can be replayed. If you're interested in this device, you can check it out on redteamtools.com. Now when you first get the device, you can test it by connecting it to a 45 volts power supply, meaning that a cut out USB cable like this and a power bank is enough because this will produce around 5 volts. So let's plug it in. Now be careful, um, always put the red wire on the first slot because the ESP key doesn't have a short circuit or power overload protection and all we have to do is put the wire there and let's punch it in okay now the ground will go to the second slot and let's do that okay now that you have those We'll just plug it in on the USB device or USB power bank. And you will see a light, meaning that the ESP key is powered on. The next step is that we'll go to the Wi Fi access point that it is producing. Now open up your mobile device and let's try to access the Wi Fi access point of the ESP key. So, let's remove our mobile data first, then let's wait for the ESP key Wi-Fi to be detected. Let's choose it, click done, and now we can go to our browser and go to 192.168.4.1, so we'll just click reload, and as you can see, that is the time today where the ESP key had already started. Now, also in this website or web page, you can go to configurations and you can configure the name of the ESP key access point, the password, and even you can make it to be a hidden access point. Now, if ever there will be a firmware update for the uh, ESP key, all you have to do is go to slash update. Oops. And there you can upload the firmware that you have downloaded from the redteamtools.com website. Now, after implanting the ESP key on a scanner, let me show you the hacks that it can do. Okay, so let me open the portal and I am currently connected to the Wi-Fi of the ESP key. Okay, so this is the portal and let's try to read an RFID. Let's refresh the portal and this is the first hack. As you can see, there is a binary number that is being captured, you can convert those binary number into a hex number. And if you have a RFID writer, those are the hex that you can write on an RFID tag. Now, the second hack is you can choose one of this stuff or num um, captures and you can click transmit. What transmit will do is that it will replay the value that it has captured and i don't have a controller and a lock here but i will be demoing that in the future and it will send that value directly to the controller opening the lock and lastly the third one is you can go here 
and we can activate denial of service okay oh wait activate denial of service so it is now activated and we will try to capture some RFID okay so now that we have that what we can do is we can refresh it as you can see the values that are being captured are different from the previous values that have been captured and that is the denial of service then we can just turn it off let's just refresh okay so dos is now disabled and we can just recapture the rfid tag again and let's refresh and now it is sending the correct values again and those are the those are three powerful hacks that you can use on an esp key and it just shows you that if you have a physical access on a security device usually all bets are off and once again, if you enjoy this video, feel free to check out my other hacking videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.